Hello everybody, welcome to EBCW Main Event. I have a very, I have two great episodes for you as we inch ever closer to our 100 episode special where the EBCW Championship will be on the line. And uh, first, before we do that, we got some business in the tag team division. And that business comes in the form of the number one contenders for the EBCW Tag Team Championships, The Revival, who I would argue are on an absolute roll as of late, since they got the number one contendership way back at, uh, oh wait, we got a, looks like the Street Profits want the smoke a little bit early. Let's break out of that. Yeah, they've been on a roll ever since they became uh, number one contenders, and the Street Profits want all the smoke. And now it's time for them to get the smoke. By the way, I know I'm very, uh, I'm going to be very late in saying this because the news of this broke a very long time ago. But I do want to congratulate FTR uh, for the Fear the Revolt or for the Revolution or whatever the hell they want to call it. Fuck the Revival. I, I doesn't matter to me. I'm happy for them. I'm glad they were able, I'm glad they're able to uh, do what they do best. I was of the opinion that pretty much the Revival were a great throwback team and they had some fantastic matches. And uh, anyone that thinks otherwise is probably just lying to themselves, to be honest with you. They were a great fucking tag team. They had that old school style that a lot of tag teams don't have anymore. And uh, those matches with DIY are, I would say, are absolute masterpieces. And that's just a fact. Hell, my favorite, one of my favorite tag team matches of all time was the uh, DIY versus the Revival at Toronto. So it was just, it was such a good match. <laughs> one of the few wrestling matches I think I've ever actually cried uh, at the end of it. Or it was just, or at least teared up, not cried, but there we go. Now the jackets are going to come off. Those awesome leather track jackets, or whatever you want to call them. I feel, I mean, I feel kind of bad for the uh, Street Profits, man. They've been, they've been kind of getting the shit end of the stick, as I like to call it. It's just every time they they have these great, they have some decent matches. They have good, but the thing is, their opponents are just that much better. And uh, it just so happens that I don't know if they have a chance against the, you know, number one contenders. And keep in mind, this is not the Re revival's first dance at the uh, in the rodeo of the tag team division for the titles. I mean, if you guys remember, they had the epic saga that was them versus the undisputed era, where they came up short so many times. It's kind of hard to keep track. Get out of here, Montez Ford. I love you, buddy, but you have to get out of here. Big move there. Just uh, let me drag Angelo Dawkins to my side. I do not trust Montez Ford at all. I think this is going to be the opportunity to end it. This might be one of the quickest matches of all time. And Angelo Dawkins is a piece of shit. Because he reversed my finisher. You massive dickhead. Ah, fuck, he reversed that too. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the road to 100 episodes. The 100 episode special will occur on Raw. As I said, the EBCW Championship will be on the line in a multi-person match. So more than one peop more than one person will be contending for the championship, which makes Kofi's odds ever sh ever smaller. I'm gonna call him Scott Dawson because I, I don't know how much I can hold off against Montez Ford. Get out of here, boy! Sit down. He was trying to give me that. He was trying to give me the smoke, and I'm just like, nah, bro. Nah. Northern Lights. Big Northern Lights suplex for the win there. Oh, what the fuck? Monkey flip by Montez. I got to do a little bit too much talking and commentating. and should be a little bit focusing a little bit more here. Versal. I don't know what he was going for. I don't know. He didn't look like he was going for a cutter or an RKO of sorts. So I don't know what he was trying to accomplish there. Maybe a snapmare? I don't know. 
Now, I got a question about that move. I don't see that move being effective in any way, shape, or form. I have never seen one person ever actually do that move that I know of. And yet, for some reason, it's in this game. Like, is that move even effective? I don't even know. There we go. Another Northern Lights attempt. Nice one there. Montez was pretty fresh when he came into the ring, but uh, he's getting worn down now. That's all I could say. That's what the Revival do. This is what the Revival needs to do against New Day. I mean, New Day have been in control of the tag team titles for longer than I give them credit for. I thought for sure that they were going to fucking lose at Backlash against the Viking Raiders. I was like wholeheartedly convinced. I'm still shocked that they fucking retained again in the latter match at uh, Money in the Bank. So. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Nice. At least Angelo Dawkins is back in so I can kind of kick the shit out of him a little bit more. And he's also the most injured one of the group. Which means this should make my life a little bit easier. Whoa, I thought I was convinced it was going to be a three count. I was wondering why Montez Ford was not doing anything. like, And I guess that's why. Ow, punched me in the fucking face. You motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh my god, Angelo is like fucking overpowering everything I'm doing now. This is garbage. This is bullshit. Get out of my way, boy. Oh my god, I just can't compete with him right now. What is Dash Wilder doing? Is he okay? He's really kind of making me nervous right now. He's going for the finisher. Ah, get shit on, boy. Get absolutely annihilated. And that is... I would say that's it. But, I don't know. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. Thank God. Thank, all I had to do was sit back, relax a second, collect my thoughts. I knew... This is why I never go for charged finishers, because charged finishers really put you at a disadvantage, because the computer can really can really hone in on reversing. And I don't know how the fucking things are... I don't know how these fucking guys are programmed. So, it's either it can go really well for you, and go really bad for you, and a lot of the times it goes really bad for me when I try them, so I don't really fuck with them too much. Which is why I just... Which is why I just don't do them and I just stick it the usual way but that is it for this match the Revival are still reigning supreme and they have a shit ton of momentum going into the uh, next pay-per-view which is Extreme Rules so what that match will be I have no clue probably a tornado tag Extreme Rules of sorts uh, it, they'll really put their no flips just fists motto to the test but all I can say is this, in our main event, we got a great women's match coming up next, and I look forward to seeing you all there.